Welcome to Discover Islam Week in Cardiff. So t- today we've had the launch event, uh, very successful by the grace of God, and we plan this week to distribute approximately 30 to 50,000 leaflets, inshallah. So we'll start tomorrow leafleting from, from the top and we'll come down into, into the central areas of Cardiff. We also have five information points, exhibition zones, that will have a few of the exhibitions, the artwork showing, and some literature that people can sit down, they can drop in, have a chat, share some tea, some coffee, some refreshments, and just to socialize with people. Also, we'll open up the mosque, so we'll have a full open week of the mosque where anyone can come in and browse our Quran exhibition our exhibition on true Islam, our exhibition on the Holy Quran and modern science, the Holy Quran and modern history. And we will also, throughout the week, do a couple of charitable events. So on the morning of the Tuesday, the 6th, we will have a street cleaner. And on the evening of Thursday, the 8th, we will have a homeless feeding session. So we will distribute food packets to those that are sleeping rough in Cardiff. The culmination of the week will be our Interfaith Peace Conference, where we'll be joined by various community leaders throughout Cardiff, representing different faiths and different backgrounds, and all our friends throughout Cardiff that have worked with us throughout the year and that we know well, and some new faces that we may have met this week. So I pray and that as many people benefit from this as possible and that we are able to spread the message of true Islam throughout Cardiff. Exactly. I'm a photojournalist at the University of South Wales. Um, I've come across a true Islam campaign on the street here. I think it's a really important thing to try and tackle the negative image that certain elements of the uh, newspaper media in particular try and paint for Islam. I think it's a very mistaken idea and I think we need to level the playing field and that's what's so important about this campaign. Okay. Um, my name is Doreen Panarale. And I think what is happening with this information raising campaign, um, what, what will be achieved will be really good. Because I think a lot of the problems in the world now, particularly the violence that is perpetrated against Muslims in particular, stems from people not knowing about Islam and the basic fundamentals of the religion and the beliefs of the people. So I think that this sort of campaign will work towards um, erasing some of these problems and hopefully making lives better for, for everybody, but particularly Muslims. I am Ibrahim Ayub and I'm a PCSO for Cardiff City Centre. Um, I've just met this lovely gentleman and I think whatever they're doing today is fantastic. I mean, getting this across will hopefully paint the true picture of what Islam is and we want to um, eliminate those barriers in society where there are misconceptions. Uh, hello, I've gone to see the exhibition today. I've been uh, interested to find out some new things that I didn't know uh, about Islam, particularly to do about the prophecies and the uh, links with cosmology and geology, which has been very interesting and good to see that you know science and Islam and religion can coexist and even sort of inform each other, which has been very, uh, very eye-opening. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I'm Peter. I'm a Christian, and nowadays we need to dispel all the myths about Islam. They're a peaceful organisation. So just get the message out there. Christians, Islam, get together and share the peace and love. I'd just like to say that Islam, I've just learned today that it's very educational, and I think a lot of people should come and listen and learn because there is a lot, a lot of goodness in it. And I think it's absolutely wonderful what I've learned today. Yes, I, I walked in today in the, in the library here in Roth uh, and uh, met with uh, Oais. Um, uh, I was so interested in, uh, in this community of Islam that believes in peace and, and, and tolerance of other religions. And they're trying to educate people who want to uh, be, you know, to, to spread Islam in, 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 in an extreme way, like extremism. They're against extremism. And I'm a Christian, but I also lived in, in a Muslim country. I came from Iraq 
And I know that we've always been lived peacefully in, in those days, and I hope that this will this this message will 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 be uh, spread amongst all Muslims and all other religions in this world. Thank you. Hello, my name's Robert. Uh, I'm just saying that I think it's important that people understand the meaning of religion and uh, don't uh, show bias against any religion. Islam is a, a peaceful faith like Christianity, like Hinduism, Taoism, all the major religions, and I hope people respect, the, respect that faith. Hi, I'm Greg. I live in Cardiff and I really appreciate all the work the Ahmadiyya Muslim community do reaching out to different faiths and other people and I really appreciate that you lot put yourselves out there and that, that, that I think that's such a great thing that you do. So thanks a lot. Hello everyone, good afternoon. I was just walking past this stall and noticed these brothers promoting Islam. This is a great opportunity for the community to get involved find out more about Islam, hear any misconceptions or misunderstandings, please stop by and be open to any clarification. Hello everyone, I'm one of the directors of Sheep from the Hip Media, which is a production company in Cardiff. It's been wonderful to be part of uh, the closing event here in Cardiff that the MD Muslim community have put on and see so many different faiths come together sharing this message of love for all and hatred for none. It's a message that resonates with myself, my husband, my family, and whichever part of the Muslim community you're from. I think it's really important to support each other and um, you know, spread the message of love and kindness, and that's why I'm here today. To me today, to the, what is the culmination of the uh, Discover Islam Week. Um, it's great that you hold this type of event to promote um, the, the, the beliefs that you hold close to your heart. But in a way, it's, it's quite it's quite a regret that you've got to hold these type of events because there is so much uh, negativity around Islam and, and the Muslim faith to start with. Um, I'm aware that you know you, you've been out and about in the city centre, in the in the communities, promoting uh, your beliefs. And I said the, the beliefs that you've got are no different to my belief as a Christian. They're no different to the beliefs of other Muslims or even Judaism. So they're just common, decent standards that, as a police officer, I'd expect all my communities to be living by. Scully of Cardiff University. Uh, very pleased to be welcomed here today by the Imani Muslim community. Second of their events that I've come to. So as I spend a lot of my time at university teaching, uh, speaking to students and speaking to other groups, uh, today's been mainly about learning, learning about the Imani community, their work, uh, their beliefs and their attempts to spread their doctrine of love for all and hatred for none. So it's been a fascinating day, I've been delighted to be welcomed by them, and I hope to come to some more of their events in the future. My name is Ben Rice, I'm a photojournalism student at the University of South Wales, and I spent this morning in Cardiff at the Interfaith Peace Meeting held by the Ahmadiyya Muslim Community. I was pleasantly surprised to find out what a progressive, enlightened and forward-thinking religious movement they are. Um, their message is simple and clear and quite frankly beautiful. Uh, the message is simply love for everybody, hate for nobody and it's impossible to argue with that. So I'd just like to thank everyone at the event today for making me feel so welcome, for the wonderful speakers, the delicious food and I can't wait to see you all again in the future. Thank you once again.